All right, so we're going to do the first two steps. We'll, we'll combine that into one lecture here. So we'll start with glycolysis. And glycolysis basically has 10 steps. And, you know, I've debated whether to make you learn them all, but then, you know, I don't want to be shot. So what we've decided to do, I've decided to do on this one is often this is taught in two major parts. So the first five steps go in one part, the second five steps go in another part. So I think we're going to teach it that way. So what I want you to know for glycolysis, glycolysis the investment phase, is what I want you to know, it's five steps. First five steps of glycolysis. So the investment phase means that you're actually spending money. I'm going to use that term, I guess. And really our, our uh, coinage here is ATP. So remember, the whole purpose of cellular respiration is to make it ATP, uh, but it takes money to make money. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our glucose molecule, you can see that on the far left, and we're going to break that down. And to do this, we, we actually need some enzymes, we need some ATP. And so what I want you to know for this is it starts with glucose, the molecule glucose. Uh, it'll take two ATP to switch it into um, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. We've seen that before. That was what's coming out of the Calvin cycle. So what we're going to do is we're basically taking a glucose molecule and breaking it into two G3Ps. And we're going to spend two ATP to do that. So that's what I want you to know. Okay, Once, one last time. Glycolysis, the investment phase, five steps. You start with glucose. You put in two ATP. And what comes out is two glyceraldehyde three phosphates or two G three Ps. Okay, so that's it. That's that's pretty simple. Um, and then what we want to do is go to the next five steps, and the next five steps would be what we call the payoff phase. And this is where you're you're getting something out of it. Okay, so again we have glyceraldehyde three phosphate. Uh, you have two of those now. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen is they're going to go in and these steps six through 10 um, are going to get you some things. So if you look here, what's going to happen is the glyceraldehyde three phosphates come in. And so you actually are, and I don't like the way this one it looks, but, but we'll, 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 make it, we'll make it work, um, is what you can see here is you're getting two NADHs are coming off. Uh, and if you look through the process, you're getting four ATPs. And then what you also end up is, and this is why I don't like it, is you end up with two pyruvates. I guess there is a two there. So uh, two pyruvates. Okay, so what, let's uh, go through it one more time real clear. Okay, so the second part of glycolysis is the payoff phase. That's step, step six through 10. Uh, what's going in is the two G3Ps. Uh, and as they go in, what's going to come out is two NADHs and four ATPs and two pyruvates. All right, last but certainly not least is, is what is the net gain of um, products out of glycolysis. And so you want to be real careful with this. Um, so it's two, two, and two, two pyruvates, which is sugars, which we still have some energy in, and we're going to take those further along the cellular respiration um, process. Uh, we have two ATP, okay, and this is where people get a little confused. Uh, we spent two ATP, put two in, we got four out, so we actually net gain two, and then two NADHs, which I told you were kind of coupons, which we will use later. Okay, so two, two, and two, that is our outputs. All right, and then the last thing on this I want to talk about is where those come from, those two ATPs. Uh, they are made by an enzyme, and so they are called substrate level phosphorylation. Phosphorylation, again, is just adding a phosphate to something. Uh, so the two ATPs that we, we get out of glycolysis are substrate level phosphorylation. Uh, we will look at later some other terms, and I'm not sure, I, and I think I skipped, actually, and I guess I should clear that up. 
um, in, in uh, the ATP that are made through uh, chemosmosis and plants. Those ATP that come out um, out of the ATP synthase, uh, those are made by something called photophosphorylation because the driving, um, driving power of that is lights, photons photophosphorylation. So this is uh, the driving force of this is an enzyme. So we're using substrate level phosphorylation. And we'll actually see one more later. All right. And then the transition phase, this is kind of my, whoops, my, my step two. And what I need you to know for this is um, that pyruvate is now sitting still outside because again, all of this happened in the cytosol outside of um, the mitochondria, but we need to get that into the mitochondria. And it turns out that pyruvate is not what gets through. Uh, it has to be transported across the membrane. And what happens there is that three carbon sugar is actually turned into two carbon sugar. And that two carbon uh, sugar I want you to know is called acetyl coenzyme A. Acetyl coenzyme A. Two carbon sugar. You see the two little reds here. Um, let, uh, red seas. Okay, so uh, remember we had two of these coming out of um, glycolysis. And so how many of these do we have? Two. <laughs> okay, we don't have three. I mean, we could, because if you count the carbons. Uh, but, but here what's happening is uh, CO2 is coming off. So what I want you to know is two pyruvates go through. Uh, for each one of those, they lose a CO2. They make an NADH and they make a acetyl coenzyme A. So at the end of this, you're gonna end up with two acetyl coenzyme A's, two CO2s and another two NADHs. And that will be the last of 